My name is Felix. Felix? Yes. Okay. Chris and Belinda, you're welcome in this country. Thank you, my friend. Uh, Chris, what you see in touch me, what's your definition of love? And how would you compare your garden women to German family? <laughs> Man, that's one. <laughs> no, y'all, y'all set us up right here, right? <laughs> Felix, you're definitely the vibes, man. Now listen, um, I when I when I sing, you know, it comes from the heart. You know, I was born on Valentine's Day. That's the day of love. So I'm a lover from birth. You know, so that's why I sing so many love songs. Um, and women are my core fan base. And I don't feel like there's a better foundation to build on. Yeah? Women are the heart and soul. So, um, for your question now, how would I compare Ugandan beauties to the Jamaican beauties? They're both wonderful. Man. Yeah. Beautiful women all around, you understand? And, um, we, can't, we, we can't bring a preference in it, no. You have me against a gun right here. You know? But um, what I will say is that the women in Uganda are definitely beautiful and, and I appreciate them so much. They're wonderful to look at. You know, and, and I look forward to being on that stage looking at the thousands in the crowd. And we'll have an awesome time, you know. And, um, but Jamaican women are very wonderful. And for any of you that you know that get a chance to come to Jamaica, you will see that for yourself. You know? and, and as they said, we're all we're all Africans, so maybe the Jamaican women came from Uganda. You never know. <laughs> That's where the origin is. Supporting you, but um, uh, is there any plan in Jamaica or like, do you have an idea where you plan to support Ugandan artists to come and perform in Jamaica when you ge genuinely you advertise and it's for Uganda or East Africa? Thank you. Um, you do criminal law or entertainment law? <laughs> yes. Okay. So. For, for someone to require your services, there has to be a need for it. So let's say there's a crime, you have to defend that person, or maybe you have to prosecute that person. That be a lawyer. As it relates to me being in Uganda, you know, I have to have music that is known in Uganda, that people want to see in Uganda. That makes it worthwhile for the sponsors, it makes it worthwhile for the promoters, it makes it worthwhile for the masses, the people in Uganda. So that is why I say it. My Ugandan artists work very hard. If they work very hard and the music reaches Jamaica, definitely. So let's say we, we, we collaborate, the major collaborates with an artist from Uganda, or I collaborate with one from Uganda, then definitely they have to come to Jamaica. The song will work, you know? So, um, it's, as I said, man, it all falls and it all boils down to hard work. You understand? And that's the only way you're going to move. That's the only way you're going to move. You could have the greatest talent in the world if you don't work on it. You know? Yeah, you could be the smartest guy in the room, but you know, if, if you don't move towards it, it's never gonna happen. Trust me. Thank you, my friend. How would you describe the Ugandan music industry? How, how would I describe the Ugandan music industry? Yeah. Um, it seems united from what I can see. Um, I haven't been here that long, but it seems like you know, there's no big segregation. Uh, it, it, it seems to be unity. Am I correct? Am I correct? Shout out to Swans. Swans. Shout out to Swans. Shout out to Swans. Yes, Swans. Yeah. <laughs> Big up so. You know, and, and um, it, I, I just feel like I just feel like more focused, you know, more determined. You know, understand? Because I've been here before and I've seen talents. You know, so, so I know like. What I would expect, like I would expect more from somebody, and, and I, I've heard it. So I, what what could be known for? It's not talent. You're talented. It's just the work. You have to be driven. You have, you have to want it. You understand? If you really want it, that's how you're gonna get it. So as it relates to the music industry, I I, I will research on it to give you a, a better answer. But from what I can see, I, I feel like they're unified, but you just need to work hard, like super hard. You know? And that that's how we got to do that. Working really hard. <coughs> yeah, I will let them know. I'll tell them the same thing. I stay consistent, don't worry. <laughs> People want me able to help by way of charitable events. You know, it's, 
that's what keeps me moving. You know, a lot of people get frustrated when things don't go their way. I, I, I view it as just another stepping stone. Because at the end of the day, everything you do won't be accepted by the masses. You, know, you cannot be right all the time. You cannot be successful at everything you do. But you cannot see everything as a loss. You have to learn from someone. So you change that L from a loss to a learning kind of curve. You know what I mean? And that's how we keep moving. We know that there is greater there. So I have not maxed my potential as yet. There is so much more for me to do. There are so much more people for me to help. There are so many places for me to go. You know, we want things to scratch the surface. And that's what keeps me moving. I want to see it. And I want to live it. And I want to experience it all. So, and this is like my first big show in Uganda. I have like 10 more, 20 more to go. So I got to keep moving. <laughs> much respect. Can let's keep them to one question and keep it brief, please, so we give uh, other people.